Vegas road trip. Yes. Yeah, we'll be back on Sunday. Love ya. Vegas, right. Bye. Hey, did you get the good stuff out of the safe? Road trip, Las Vegas. Road trip, Las Vegas. Road trip. Right now, gasoline prices are anything but funny. Can a fuel additive really improve combustion enough to save you money on gas? Startron can, and in this video, I'll demonstrate just how effective Startron can be, showing two different types of tests with fuel economy improvements of 9%. Using a road test to measure fuel economy. This can be tricky, especially in city traffic. It's hard to be accurate. For the road test, I use the Chrysler 2015-300 with a 3.6 liter engine. These cars have super efficient engines and coupled to an 8-speed transmission, they get amazing fuel economy for a 2-ton sedan. The EPA says this car will get 30 miles per gallon on the highway. Sadly, no, I didn't do the drives to Las Vegas. The strong and unpredictable desert winds, constant road construction, and unpredictable traffic from Southern California makes it nearly impossible to drive identical trips. So instead, I made four 120 mile round trips from the northwest end of Los Angeles to Santa Barbara and back. It's also prettier. Using plain 87 octane E10 gasoline for a baseline, I made two round trips, one departing in the morning and one in the afternoon. Then I repeated those drives the next day at the exact same times, but using Startron in the fuel. Both trips would be called hot starts, as the car was warmed up for five minutes before leaving. Wind and traffic are always problematic in road tests, but if you watch the weather forecast to predict similar days and leave at the same time and are lucky enough to avoid any accidents or construction delays, you can usually encounter consistent conditions over a short time frame. If you drive too far, you're going to run into something. I also conducted a short 18-mile city drive. These drives were done in the early morning and were cold starts. Now, city drives, which typically include navigating past hundreds of retail businesses, restaurants, offices, schools, buses, stoplights, and pedestrian traffic, are far less predictable and much harder to repeat. And this test actually highlights that phenomenon. It took me approximately 45 minutes to drive just 18 miles compared to the 60 minutes it took to drive the 60 mile segments out on the open highway. In total, I drove 259 miles for each leg of the comparison test. With 241 miles on the highway and 18 miles for the city drive, so the city portion of the test was only 7% of the total drive. The 241 mile baseline highway drive took 250 minutes. The 241 mile Startron test took 245 minutes and 15 seconds. That's a difference of 4 minutes and 45 seconds. That's just a 1.79% difference. Now, I think that was remarkably close given the distance driven. On the city baseline, I averaged 22.67 miles per hour. And on the Startron drive, I averaged 24.93 miles per hour, which is 9.5% faster. Now, this is why I designed this road test as primarily a highway fuel economy test with a small city trip included. Repeating timed drives in a big city is very difficult. Refilling the tank after the plain gas baseline took 8.53 gallons which means for the entire drive, I got 30.14 miles per gallon. And refilling the tank with Startron, I took 7.783 gallons, which gave me 33.27 miles per gallon. It's a 9.8% improvement with Startron. However, given the difference in drive times of the 18 mile drive was 9% shorter on the Startron run, and the city drive represented 7% of the total road test, the actual fuel improvement 
would be about 0.6% less. Therefore, this combined highway and city road test demonstrated a 9.2% improvement in fuel economy using StarTron. Now, here's where it gets even more interesting. A few years back, I wanted to see what effect Starbright's unique enzyme technology would have on a small gas engine. I took a Yamaha dirt bike into a California emissions testing laboratory that does EPA and CARB drive cycle studies. On this kind of test, they put the bike on a dynamometer and a driver rides the bike following a series of computer time starts, stops, wide open throttle accelerations, and various cruising segments. The exhaust is captured and the various carbon molecules are measured. Since the amount of carbon in gasoline is known, after the resulting carbon molecules out the tailpipe are known, the amount of fuel consumed during the test can be determined. This is the carbon balance method. That's what ends up on the windows of those cars when you go into a car lot. Now this test produced 9.2% improvement in miles per gallon. That is identical to the improvement I got in the road test on the Chrysler. 9.2% better fuel economy. That's money saved. Use StarTron. It's like stealing your money back from the oil companies. What are you doing? Go back to bed.